Okay, my friends, welcome back. Second grade. If you remember, we are working on our story quilts, which were inspired by the book Tar Beach by artist Faith Ringgold. So, these are what our final story quilts are going to look like. We can see there is a skyline or a cityscape where we have our buildings. We see some stars because it's nighttime. And we see these little squares of paper that are cut to look like a fabric or a quilt. And then we have our self-portrait on top. I have another example here. So this one has the buildings. We see the lights. Some are on, they're yellow or white. Some are out, they're dark. There are stars. Self-portrait flying over the city, just like Cassie in the book, and our squares all around. So we have already started this project. We did our self-portrait the first week, and then we colored it. We haven't cut it out yet because we don't want to lose it. We are going to set that aside along with our paper strips and we are going to use these next week, the week of March 8th through 12th. We're going to add these to our story quilt. This week we took our purple paper and we added our background. So we took crayons or colored pencils and we started by adding buildings. So we used all different colors to add our buildings. I'm going to use white just so you can see them. And remember, we're going to have that border all the way around with our quilt pieces, which are those colored papers. So I started by adding buildings of different heights. Sometimes I overlapped them to make it look like there were more than one building. You can put a little gap in and we can add more buildings and they can come right off the page, even though the border will cover them up. Then we added things like windows. And we did this for every building. And doors. Okay, and they may have doorknobs or like handles because this is a big city. Okay, now if you wanted to add a bridge, I will do that in black so you can see that. Let me find my black crayon. For the bridge, now you didn't have to add a bridge, but you can if you wanted to. I made that also overlap. So I made that come out, those posts come out from behind my building. And I made those sort of like a little rectangle. And I made my other post come about the same height, so just kind of roughly measure a line that comes over. And this makes the bridge look like it's behind our buildings. And then I like to put in little X's to give it a structure that looks like it's made out of steel, but it's hollow. And then we need to add the road. And that's going to go all the way across because if it doesn't, people will drive right off. So we'll add our road across. Road. And I like to have a nice thick road. And you could put little cars on this if you want, give them little headlights because it's nighttime. You know, it looks really nice. The more details you add, it looks great. Okay, now, the final little bit that I like to add are these swooping lines. And this really gives it that bridge-like look. And you can add like little lights on these if you want. Again, because it's nighttime, just makes it look a little extra special. Okay, so in the end, by the end of class yesterday, we had all of our buildings done. You can see my buildings are all different colors and that just helps create some visual interest in our piece. I have a little car up here on my bridge. I have my lines. Again, you don't have to draw a bridge. I just chose to because our artist has one in her picture. I've got some stars. All of my windows have some kind of color in them. They're either blue or black because the lights are turned out, or they are white and yellow because the lights are turned on. 
and I have little there. So this is what we worked on this week, was our background piece. Now next week, we are going to add our self-portrait. We're gonna glue that right on so that we are flying over the city, and we will start adding our border to our background, just like the story quilt example. All right, have a great weekend.